we're going to kind of back up to this. We talked about Liat, the science of thrill, kind of scientific base uh, premises premises for a lot of our product. Um, let's talk about Newton's laws. Okay, so remember Newton's laws: a force in motion tends to stay in motion. A force in rest tends to stay at rest. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. For <clears throat> some materials that we're using in our helmets, for every op action, there's an, there's an equal and opposite reaction that comes into play. We found some commercially available polymers that are energy absorbing, okay? And so Newton's laws say that something can't absorb energy. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. There's non-Newtonian polymers available, okay? They're called non-Newtonians. And so when you say it's a non-Newtonian, it's a material that actually absorbs energy. Four millimeters of this will stop a 22 caliber pellet. I'm kind of thinning this down. I'm kind of pushing on it, mallowing it, thinning it down. So um, you can take a piece of this, and put it over your hand. And early, I actually broke the, <laughs> I broke, yeah. So hard enough to break the table, <laughs> but your hand is fine. I mean, a normal hit is, 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 it hurts, you know, just a little tap on it. So extremely energy absorbing material. Why? Well, we've taken this material and we've made a turbine, okay? So the first property of this turbine is of absorbs energy. It's four millimeters of it, okay? Then, the shape of the turbine lends itself to rotational. So you put this in the shell of a helmet and it's a little bit of rotational slip value. Why is rotation uh, slip value important? Well, concussion level is 70 G, okay? 70 G impact uh, is pure concussion level. 40 G impact with rotation can be deadly, can kill you. So you talk about you know Michael Schumacher, Dale M. Earnhardt, those aren't massive, massive impacts. Those are rotational injuries, okay? So the focus on rotation is um, a big kind of point in the helmet game now. And so our system, the turbine system, provides rotational and low energy in impact absorption. So we take 11 of these and we put them inside a shell of a helmet, okay? Then, we take a very strong outer shell that passes the dot test spike. The dot spike is a 6.6 .6 pound helm, uh, spike that drops from 10 feet. It's about 1,600 pounds of impact on this one force. It's designed so no part of the human body can resist it. It'll go through any part of the human body. And the dot test is the helmet shell or anything on the outside of the helmet needs to resist it. So you start off with a very strong outer shell. We in-mold the EPS. So normal helmet shells are molded and then they press them into the helmet and that allows for air gaps and spaces to be inside, okay? This in-molding allows for a very tight fit, much less material, much less uh, mass or outer shell size. Then we use V-foam. Uh, Don Morgan is a Australian physicist. They call him the helmet guru. He's a lifelong helmet researcher. He developed uh, this material. Uh, it's two different densities of V-foam. Think of a snowplow. A snowplow driving down the road at an angle, when it intersects something, it shoots that energy off the side of the road. It's the same thing with the V-foam. The two densities of V-foam, when the V's intersect each other, they channel the energy sideways. That allows you to use less EPS, a thinner piece of EPS. So you've in-molded it, which allows you to use uh, make it smaller. Then you've used V-foam, which allows you to use less EPS. Then you've put energy absorbing turbines in here, which allows you to use less EPS even more. So the helmet is getting smaller. Why is small important? Well, a 10% reduction in helmet weight reduces rotation forces 10%. It's a one-to-one -one give there. A 10% reduction in outer shell size reduces rotation forces 20%. So it's a more efficient target to target a small helmet to reduce rotation forces. You make a smaller helmet and then the helmet uses less material and gets lighter also. So it compounds on each other. So you think about the, the rear cog of a mountain bike. 
the big cog. And think about leverage, that's the easy gear and the leverage affiliated with that. Easy spin. And then you take the small cog, I don't know, maybe about a one inch difference and the leverage difference is unbelievable. So you put that on the size of a helmet and make this helmet, you know, three quarters inch smaller than a different helmet and the leverage reduction is unbelievable. Leverage forces on your brain, leverage forces on your neck. Huge reduction. Helmet gets lighter, less material, things compound on them. So um, take all of that, then we integrate uh, interesting integrated hydration because taking your hands off to drink is dangerous too, okay? So you can just reach your lips out and drink while you're riding. Then we, our product team designed a easily shearable visor bolt that you know, obviously the visor provides a pretty large lever there. You want the visor to shear off. So when the visor shears off, it leaves a broken stud for the bolt in there. Well, you can just use another bolt to extract it out. Quick, easy, no big deal. So you want the visor to come off. Very ventilated. Um, these vents passed, pass the dots, the dot spike test. There's 191 holes in this helmet. A byproduct, it's very noisy. It's, you can hear the riding, you hear the chain slap, but there's a ton of low speed airflow. You don't have to be going fast, it just is a ventilated helmet. So all of this technology packaged into our helmet line. Uh, for 2019, we have three price points. We have the $499 carbon 6.5 helmet, full carbon, premium liner, all the technical features we just talked about. Weights are listed right on the back of it. This one's 1,380 grams, size medium. Okay, DOT and ECE, 499. Comes in one colorway. Then the 5.5, which is a fiberglass Kevlar composite helmet, uh, $399, um, around as small as 1,280 grams. Uh, different shell materials, but still comes with a premium liner, the hydration system, the, all the turbines, easily remove, uh, easily shear off a visor, vents, 191 holes, 399, comes in four colors. White and black, ink and red, teal and green. These are all the 5.5s, uh, fiberglass and Kevlar. Then we move into the 4.5 helmet. The 4.5 helmet is a polycarbon, it's $229. It comes all that technical features, a little less premium of a inner liner, but still the turbines, uh, the V foam, the ventilation, the uh, quick shear um, visor pins uh, for $229. Comes in five colorways here. These are all the, the 2019 colorways. Okay, a great price point for a very technically safe and sound helmet. Okay. Then for kids, we have the $349 5.5. So this is the fiberglass Kevlar weave high-end helmet, 191 vent holes, the turbines, premium inner liner, quick shear pins uh, in the in the visor, $349, super light. This is a 1260 gram helmet tiny and really light for a youth race helmet. Then we move into the youth 4.5. Two colorways here. Same technology as the adult 4.5, but $179. So polycarbonate uh, versus the uh, carbon Kevlar, or excuse me, the fiberglass Kevlar or the carbon or the 6.5.